about the, about the chaos at the Dominican Republic and Haitian border? Probably not. I'll tell you why. Recently, the Dominican Republic president has closed all borders with their neighbor Haiti over a water dispute. In April 2021, construction of a canal was started to divert some of the water from the Massacre River that acts as a natural border on the northern part of Haiti and Dominican Republic to irrigate agricultural lands in Haiti. This project was abruptly stopped following the assassination of the right-wing anti-establishment president Jovenel Mose in July 2021. Frustrated by the Haitian government's non-action to revitalize this much-needed canal, the Haitian people self-organized, gathered up whatever supplies they could find, and just started digging. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, building their own much-needed canal because the government refused to do it. Why is Haiti so important? To give context, we need to go back many years. In 2010, the country of Haiti experienced a devastating earthquake killing almost 300,000 people. During that time, Hillary Clinton was a Secretary of State and Bill was the UN Special Envoy to Haiti. The Interim Haiti Recovery Commission was led by the Clintons. Of the nearly $10 billion in relief aid raised, 9% went to the Haitian government, less than 1% went to the local organizations, and 90% went to the NGOs. Since then, private armed military dressed under the guise of NGO and UN officials have been circling Haiti, restricting access to many parts of the country and buying up rural land. Armed guards protect the artificial borders, the main populace is kept in poverty, and the political and elite class turn a blind eye to the corruption. Why? What's in Haiti? Haiti is the second largest reserve of iridium in the world, only second to South Africa. Iridium is one of the rarest and valuable minerals in the world, used in industries like nuclear, military, semiconductors, aircraft, smartphones, and medical devices, due to its non-corrosive nature and extreme high melt point. It is also extraterrestrial. It comes from comets, meteorites, and asteroids. Iridium is one of the rarest and most expensive minerals in the world, currently trading at $4,500 per ounce. And Haiti has mountains of it. So why don't they want the Haitians to be doing their own digging? Are they worried what they would find? Oddly enough, if you've seen the recent Black Panther movie, Wakanda Forever, where many of the characters speak Haitian Creole, the basic plot of the movie is that the leaders of Wakanda fight to protect their country in the wake of their king's death from enemy invaders looking to steal their underwater vibranium by force. You can't make this stuff up. What's going on in Haiti? 